tides are not the only causes of currents. The wind also causes big currents at sea. The major winds on Earth always blow in the same direction, from the hot equator to the cold poles and back. But the rotation of Earth changes the direction of these winds, and I will explain how. Follow me into space. Look back down on Earth, spinning. We go north and we look down at the North Pole. Now you can see that Earth is turning counterclockwise. Now let's go to the South Pole. Earth is still spinning the same way. But now when we look from the other side, it looks as if it's going clockwise. So, looking down on the Northern Hemisphere, Earth spins counterclockwise. And looking down on the Southern Hemisphere, it spins clockwise. Now imagine trying to draw a straight line on a rotating circle of paper. Because the circle is rotating, the line will not be straight. If the circle of paper is rotating counterclockwise, your straight line will curve to the right, so in a clockwise direction. But if the circle of paper is rotating clockwise, your straight line will curve to the left, so in a counterclockwise direction. The same happens to the wind as happens to your straight line. In the northern hemisphere, the rotation of Earth rotates the wind in a clockwise direction. In the southern hemisphere, the wind is rotated in a counterclockwise direction. This is called the Coriolis effect. The major ocean currents follow this pattern of the winds. These large ocean currents are called gyres. In the northern hemisphere, gyres run clockwise. For example, from south to north along the east coast of North America, west to east across the Atlantic, and north to south along the west coasts of Europe and North Africa. In the southern hemisphere, gyres run counterclockwise, for example, from south to north along the coast of South Africa, from east to west across the Atlantic, and north to south across the coast of South America. There is one more cause of currents, and that is upwellings. An upwelling happens when winds push warm surface water away from the shore and cold water from the ocean depths rushes upwards to take its place. This water movement causes a current. This usually happens on the west coasts of continents, for example in California, Peru, Canary Islands and Western Australia. Upwellings are great for divers because this cold water is full of food such as phytoplankton so it attracts many fish and mammals. <laughs>